Right, we're here at Maryborough and we're trying to get the message out there for prostate cancer and, and the awareness and um, catching up there with Anthony Buck, one of the um, ambassadors. If you like, um, one of the people getting the message out there for raising awareness for prostate cancer. Firstly, Ants, welcome. Yeah, thanks, Paul. Um, it's a strong message we want to get across for the month of September. Um, get the message out there for guys to um, go and get their prostate checked, especially if they're getting up around our vintage. It's not uh, it's not nice saying how old we are, but um, it's it's imperative that people go and get the check and um, it's just a simple little blood test. Yeah, that's right, Paul. Yeah, I think a lot of people are worried it's quite invasive, but it's not. It's only a blood test. And, uh, you know, when you, you know have friends that um, have left a little bit late and, you know, they get a positive, that really hits home. So, um, you know, with guys like David Aiken and that, he's been really good with the message and it's encouraged a lot of us to, you know, make sure you get the blood test regularly and, you know, as you said, it's, it's easy and um, just keep ahead of things. I've had it, you've had it, it's not hard. Um, you basically go in there and, in all, all seriousness, they take a couple of other blood tests as well, so you get a bit of a health check, which is not, not the bad either. That's right, and we're, and we're lucky in Hunter, with the Hunter Race in Victoria that we've got to get a medical every year anyway, so you've got to go to the doctor, so it's easy just to add that on and get it done. Um, being an ambassador, do you, do you enjoy that part of it? Too? Like, you know you're doing some good, like getting the message out there? Yeah, definitely, yeah. You know, always like to put something back into the game. You know, the game's been so good to us, and if we can just help in some small way, you know, and, uh, you know, just make these men who think they're bulletproof sometimes, but, uh, yeah, go and uh, keep ahead of things and get it done, so, no, it's great. You got a funny twang to your accent, um, Blue September in New Zealand, I think there's 12 ambassadors. Um, just trying to think, um, one of the guys, he, if he uh, wins the race, his name's just escaped me right at the minute, um, Goose, I uh, can't remember his name. Robbie Close. Thank you very much, $1,000 every time he wins a race uh, through sponsors and ambassadors, they're really getting behind it over there in, in New Zealand as well. Yeah, yeah, you know, a few of the boys over there, you know, Blair Orange and Johnny Cox and the likes are, uh, you know, wearing the blue pants, so now it's, you know, great it's getting around Australasia. He's one of the great ambassadors, isn't he, Johnny Cox? He sure is, yeah. That's <laughs> all, all he needs. Go to HR, sorry, go to uh, pcfa.org.au um, and you can go to the longest run to, don to, to donate. Sorry, got me tongue right around that badly, but to do, donate for the harness racing and you go to the long trot. And there's simple ways you can do it. You can just straight up um, donate. A few of us are doing runs. A couple of us are doing some silly things to try and raise awareness and get the message out there. But um, go there and to donate. So that's a PCFA. Um, Prostate Cancer Foundation of Australia. Um, pretty simple, go there and donate. And if you're our age, Ants, what do you got to do? Yeah, get that blood test, Paul. Thanks very much, mate. Thank you. Thanks, man.